Hey, so we're going to create a new table here and we're going to show how you can use Clay for the recruiting use case. So I'm gonna do a Google search here and do an X-ray search to find some LinkedIn profiles. So I'm gonna do site colon linkedin.com backslash in and I'll just search for an engineer. Uh, let's just look for 40 of them and I'll just click continue and let's do the new blank table. So this is going to find 40 engineers using a Google X-ray search uh, and this will pull in a bunch of LinkedIn profiles. So once we have these, I'll uh, just click out of here. Um, we have, great, we have a bunch of these LinkedIn profiles, so I'll throw them in here. And I'll delete these extra columns that we don't need. And let's just enrich the data. So let's enrich a person from LinkedIn profile. I'll throw that in here, click Save Changes, and then let me click Play. And this is going to enrich uh, the profiles off LinkedIn. So this is exciting. Uh, we're gonna get a bunch of information. So I'll take the titles, I'll put that in here. Um, I can get a bunch of other information as well. So let me get maybe the company domain. Uh, and some other information that could be useful is maybe the, uh, let's get a start date, that could be really useful. And then maybe uh, let's get the location where they are. Um, obviously, by the way, we chose to do a Google search here, but we could have always done a LinkedIn search directly too. Now that I have this information, let's enrich some data and let's do enrich company. And so I'm gonna put in the website token here and let's do the company domain. Click play. And we're gonna get some basic company enrichment data. So I'll run this and we're gonna get a bunch of information about the company. So let's pull out the employee count because that'll be helpful. Sweet. Um, and then uh, from here, what might be useful is let's find out maybe how many jobs these companies are hiring for. So let's just find out how many jobs these companies are hiring for because that could be a useful uh, data point. And we could filter here by the department or by job title, but I'll just uh, leave it open for now. And I'll run that. And last thing that might be useful uh, while we're waiting for that is to get the email addresses. So um, see, it's looking to find, it's finding a lot of jobs. So let's find work email for these people. So I'll do next person, look at the name, company domain. We'll do that. So just to sort of recap here, what we've been able to do is we did a search for 40 people who are engineers on LinkedIn. We could have obviously made a much more custom search with different search operators and things like that. We enriched off their LinkedIn profile to get their title, the company domain, their start date, and their location. Then we enriched their company to get the employee count. Then we found how many jobs those companies are hiring for. Um, and now we are finding the email addresses for these employees as well. And I can just extract that into a new table as well. Awesome. Well, this has been super helpful. We've been gone from a Google search to email addresses for 40 engineers. Um, so let me know if you have any questions and happy building. Thanks.